Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to leverage Python for ETL with Power BI. So let's start. So I've got this Power file, a Power BI file open here with me and I'll also upload this file to GitHub so you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. And it's not much in terms of like, we're not doing any, any visual here, but we learn how to uh, use pandas for etl works so i'll just go here and click on transform data and it will open the power query editor for us where bulk of etl happens and let's say uh, you want to uh, uh, do some complex uh, logic using python or you've got some python script which you want to reuse how do you do that so we'll just use this uh, fact internet uh, sales table at an, as an example and I'll remove the columns I don't need. So I'll, I'll remove product key for now. So this is just for the purpose of demo. And I'll just keep order date key. And uh, so I want to keep total product cost. So I'll remove the other columns. So I'll just click on remove columns. And I'll keep the total product cost. So I want to keep total product cost. So I just want to keep order date key total product cost and sales amount I want I don't want other ones so I'll just say remove other columns so it'll delete everything else and now essentially we'll use the Python script to um, calculate profit which would be sales amount minus total product cost and you'll get an idea as to how to leverage this Python script uh, going uh, forward for your ETL work with Power BI so we go to the transform tab here on top and we go to run Python script over here and it says that the data set has been so uh, data set has been created and data set holds the input value for the script so the data set essentially has three columns which is order date key total product cost and sales amount let me cancel it for now so i can see that the total product cost and sales amount have been mentioned as a currency and for some reason it doesn't play really well with currency so, uh, the python script in power bi so what we need to do is we'll go click select this and set this as a decimal number and we'll uh, instead of currency and i'll do the same for sales amount and i'll just go and click this as decimal number so essentially what we've got is changed the data type for this and now we'll again go back and click on run python script and we've got the data set so all we need to say is data set and how you add a new column, you just say profit, which is a new column we are creating is equal to data set. And we can say sales amount. So I've uh, got the same uh, scripting that we do in Python and we'll say data set. Total and we close this brackets and that's it and now I'll just hit OK and you can see it's asking us about uh, data privacy so I'll just click on this button and at the moment I'm not concerned so I'll just say ignore depending on what uh, your situation is with the data you can either check this or uncheck it and I'll just click save and you can see that it's given us this so here on on the values tab where the table is i'll just click on this double arrow and it'll show me the columns that become available to me so it's giving me a uh, total order key total product cost sales amount and profit so if i click ok here it gives us a table and you can see here that it is saying that the name is the data set and the uh, the column and then the sales amount total product cost and then the difference between them um, so, um, so in this video, we've essentially learned how to leverage the Python script to do ETL in Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, do let me know if you would like me to take any specific topic. Uh, cheers. Bye.